And this is what it looked like on I-10 this morning after floodwaters covered the roadway in deep mud. Overnight, drivers were stuck on the road for hours. Caltrans crews working all day and now both sides have reopened. Our team coverage continues now with News Channel 3's uh, Marion Bouchot, who has been out all day covering the traffic issue issues, and we've all been stuck in those. Marion, hopefully things are running a bit more smoothly tonight. Karen, good thing is, yeah, it is open both directions on I-10 west and eastbound, but it was just a nightmare of traffic. Luckily, things are moving a lot more smooth, so you can, I'll get out of the way. My photographer will give you a real live look at what is going on here. So no more bumper to bumper traffic, at least here. We are at the Bob Hope exit at Cathedral City overlooking both sides of the freeway. But I talked with so many frustrated drivers today who told me they've never seen an impact like this before. Tropical storm Hillary left countless drivers stuck for hours on the 10 freeway. It's an, uh, like a war zone here, you know, uh, it's a mess. Flooding and debris forced a full shutdown closure on both sides of the freeway, stretching from Thousand Palms to Whitewater. Cleanup crews worked to clear the roadway as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, truck driver Oscar Ortega was left stranded. Never seen before. I mean, you can see uh, eastbound I-10 is like a little wash. I mean, mud all the way to the knee high. I never seen it before. It's, it's kind of, can you say amazing, but kind of scary. California Highway Patrol directing drivers off the freeway to Varner Road. Uh, a lot of traffic, just a lot of floods, a lot of road debris, and everybody just trying to get home. Uh, just uh, a lot of just chaos that just came out of nowhere. You know, and it happens, but. The freeway westbound reopened Monday at noon. Right now? It's open. All right, we're going. It's perfect. While the eastbound side reopened multiple hours later. But even after the 10 reopened, more traffic. It took my photographer and I more than an hour to travel nearly 10 miles. The eastbound Bob Hope exit flooded and partially washed away. A commuter nightmare that may continue for days. I wasn't expecting, but you know what? What can we do? It's mother nature. We have to respect her. Back here live, you're looking at the Bob Hope exit eastbound at the 10. So just like you saw earlier, you can, I mean, in this story that we just showed you, Bob 10 eastbound exit is flooded. Part of that road is washed away, so no one is going to be getting on this ramp anytime soon. A lot of repair work need to be happening there. But as you get ready for your morning commute tomorrow, please check the latest road closures because it could take days before crews are able to open up all the exits along the freeway. And right now, the Cook Street area um, near I-10 is pretty bad, and there is a lot, a lot of traffic over there. So please keep that in mind. Pack your patience for tomorrow and give yourself plenty of time if you do have to go to work tomorrow or just need to drive anywhere on the valley, no matter if you have to take the 10, take any of the back roads, because it is still very, very tricky to get around anywhere in the valley. Live in Cathedral City, Miriam Bouchot, News Channel 3.